not an outside dog. Let me in. Come on, let's see you. All right, let's in. Come on, come on, come. Get in here, bro. It's windy. Come on. People of the Hulk life, uh, it snowed a lot, so. Good. Shippers are stuck in my driveway. Dog shippers. There's a lot of snow here, though, as you can see. It's a lot of blow, like, blew around a lot. So there's mad drifts everywhere and shit, so I think they're stuck in a drift, so. I'm gonna go get them out. There we go. I dig out a little bit. Hold on. Got out. Good. The plow came in behind, but we didn't need him. We should be dug her out. It's good to go. She's going to get out there. Oh, good morning, people of the Hulk life. So it's a cold, it's a cold one today. I'm, I'm, I fell asleep last night, so I didn't, I didn't hit the fire like at like 3 a.m. Uh, I fell asleep at like 2.30. So it's a bit, it's just a little bit. I mean, it's probably still like 55 right now, but normally it's like 70 in here. So they're probably like, oh my God. So I'm gonna get a fire going. Chop, chop. Puppies twice a day, but most of the dogs in the morning. Heck, they're around here. It's all out. He's buried. I'm not anything of that. John. <laughs> all winter. Oops. I gotta go down to Concord and we're gonna run a um I'm gonna do a test to see if one of my uh, puppies off of Netflix and Faith is able to do protection work. So we're gonna go down to a client's house, we're gonna go check the dog out and <clears throat> see if he's uh, capable here. So but I, I'm gonna give these apple food toys. I don't know why I did that, but it was fun. It was fun. There's more. Ha! Don't really need too much. Honestly, I just need like... I really don't even need this, but I'll bring it anyways. Let's see if the dog likes to play a little tug. We'll bring a little flirt pole. Alright. This and I might get a mask, but it should be good. This guy into the window, guy. Like, all right. It's not her coffee.
her coffee. You can barely see her when she walks behind the truck. <laughs> Fucking disappears. Yeah. It looks good. Oh, yeah. You calm down. That's your little brother. Or your little... It's your brother's kid. I don't know what that is to you. I'm not good with the whole relations thing. You settle down back there. Nobody. Don't be showing me your stupid teeth. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Super hyped. Dude. He's a good looking dog. I mean, with this too, like, you guys should just send me videos of him playing at any time because he's probably a little, he's definitely weary because of where he, because that just happened, so he just got through that. But, <laughs> if you guys want to, if you want to do it with him, I, mean, I don't know what she's been talking to you about, like, you know, uh, how we should, we should we could do it. Or, you know, we talked a little whatever. bit about it. I'd probably, like, have him come up for, I'd probably take it for, like, I don't know, getting to give him a good, like, just overall test. I'd probably take him for, like, two, three weeks. Just kind of see how he is, you know, at, at my house, and you know what kind of places they're like, gonna do. Like, how old are they again? How old are they? Like, like, it's two totally different routes, you know. Yeah. So it, if he starts to go down a protection road, like there's just you can't really go back sometimes, you know. And then you gotta go all the way down. And you gotta go all the way there as far as he can go for the most because you can. If you want, there's a totally different, totally different between having like a regular house dog and then having a protection dog. It's completely how the dogs are raised is different, how they're socialized is different. So it's just a much it's a very different process depending on what you want to do. Obedience is easy. I mean, we can do obedience with dog, no problem. Mm -hmm. Like, that's like, he doesn't need any type of tests or anything. He can do obedience um, very simply. Protection is where we have to, you know, take him and, you know, see, you know, certain things about him. But the good thing is, you know, I know, I know where he came from. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, know, I know what's in him. I know my own dog very well, so... But I really would have to, you know, he's been away obviously a while with you guys, so I'd have to have, have him at the house, you know, she'll handle him and then kind of see, you mm -hmm. know, how he comes to, you know, tug and balls and what his kind of overall drive is like. And, you know, you have to take it to another level and with the age like that, I really can't do that yet. Yeah, he's, he's a very friendly balls. dog. Yeah, like, I mean, that won't change, you know what I mean? It's like, that won't, I mean, he'll change a little bit, but like, Grant. Get for example, the dog that I have that I'm training now, the dog Vader, like, I mean, he's still, he's super friendly. I mean, he's, and, you know, but he will bite the living shit out of you if you told him. I mean, that's, that's his job. He'll dog turn on and look like he's going to take your head off, or he'll be completely calm, and he can be just like this, just like him, around anyone. So, that's, and that's the overall goal. So, it's to take him for two weeks to make sure that he has that personality, that he's going to be able to go that, to the dark side and then come back to the light. You know, that's the whole thing. Oh, yeah, service out here is awful. I said I'll have to eat. Oh, there you go. He's, he's, you know, a lot of the dogs are, are you know, trained and they do, you know, do a lot of cool shit. He's, all he does is smile. Like, that's about all he knows how to do. That's all he does. He smiles and he's goofy. So, like, that, it kind of went with his personality, honestly. <laughs> Bro, you look great, bro. Now I'm gonna just get a snag trick for you, trying to dodge tonight. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, like the sole person, and then you can have an additional. Otherwise, you leave a door with it, then he's not gonna be able to close it. This guy is about it.
Hey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it. Come on, bro. Hold the rail. We out here in Holyoke. You see the Chinese food? Somebody farted. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. We smell like stale farts in this elevator. Like the little shit bags in the town we live at, they actually have like murders and whatnot to deal with around here. Like drug busts, drug busts, and yeah, they got actual problems around here. It's probably not, but uh, again, they they pick their battles around here. <laughs> it's just like in New York and Philly, you see them riding the streets with the motorcycles all the time. They'll drive by car; they don't even move at the time. They pick their battles. Right, they're gonna pick their battles. They're not gonna. They're not gonna waste time chasing around like friggin' thirty kids on dirt bikes, and they're all just gonna scatter and get away. Anyway. Like they, they know they're not dumb. Only in little towns do they want to like stick their little chest out and try to act like they can really do some shit, like to chase you on your motorcycle or on some dumb shit when they know they're not gonna catch you. That's only that's that's that little town little man syndrome. Right, that's what that's what that shit is, yo. Huh? It's boring. It ain't bored, yo. So they ain't got nothing to do, yo. So that's why they do shit like that in little towns. Yo. Around here, like, they're not gonna bother with some shit like that. It's just like, oh, God, whatever, yo. <laughs> like, have at it, bro. You wanna get splattered by somebody in the road? Like, cool. Like, they ain't worried about that. <clears throat> nah, if you did that in Littleton or some shit, you'd have six cops chasing you, and it'd be this whole thing. I'd have a, they'd have streets shut down and shit. They'd be so excited they had something to do. Oh, that little draft is actually fire. I'll bring that shit home. And she's never been to Boston Market? What a sad story. Arrived. And yeah, they all go in the bikes. And yeah, they all go in the bikes. See? This is right on cue, yo. You think riding dirt bikes in the road? You think they, they doing some legal shit? Nah, brother. This, they, this, is, this is a city. This is a different life around here. Style, right? I see that shit all the time around here. Oh, push it, push it, put some weight into that thing. Come on. 
This way, this way, bro. Bro, you be lost out here, brother. You be lost. All right, let me see. All right, go around. Wow, kid. His face is all messy like a little child. He got apple all over his face. I mean, a lot has ended up there, but he is eating parts of it. I've seen him eat lots of parts of it. He's picky.